everybody, it's Lori here today to go over my empties for January. We got through a lot. I was really <laughs> kind of like, wow, <laughs> we were, I was a little floored with all of the stuff that I was unpacking. I'm like, wow, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> You'll see a lot of it is retail wax. I was just, you know, jumping in <laughs> fully full body, like I say, to the vendor wax world. So some of them, um, I have some for sure, but not as much as I'm sure that I will have in following months. I have, so I have retail wax, vendor wax, I have, and Bath and Body Works stuff. So you'll see that. I'll put some timestamps below if you're only interested in seeing certain items. This is gonna take forever and a day. If I don't go quickly, I'll probably just show you the things that I went through and highlight if I would purchase it again or not. And, you know, if it's something that I wouldn't, you know, I might say a few words, you know, I'm winded, so we'll see. I'm trying to keep this, uh, I don't know. It's probably gonna be long, so grab a snack, <laughs> grab a cup of coffee or soda. <laughs> pop, I say pop. Michigan. <laughs> so, all right, so let's jump in first. I'm going to do the retail wax first, clear off some of this uh, mess on my desk. So let's first talk about the retail wax. And I also want to mention my cat was really adamant about coming into the room here. So if you see a giant, he's giant, a massive cat, <laughs> um, jump up on me. We're keeping it in. So so look for, his name's Brady. Yes, Tom, Brady. We have a dog named Gronk. So don't hate me. That's, yes, we were Patriots fans. We still are, but you know, I mean, we're Tom Brady and yeah, Gronkowski, Rob Gronkowski fans as well. So, all right. So let's jump into this. So we have this Sensational Pumpkin Apple Muffins. I believe these are in clearance right now. My store had them for 75 cents. This is way more apple than it is pumpkin. Here's the cat, giant cat. We're keeping it in, told you. <laughs> so anyway, I probably wouldn't buy this again. It was a little bit too, I don't know, too much for me. I probably wouldn't buy it again. This, and I'm dumping it on the side. You might hear that, so I'm hopefully, sorry. Uh, Summer Fruit Medley, 100%. Love this one. Fantastic. Ch I think they changed the packaging of that. So we've got, you know, help from the cat here. Better Homes and Gardens Over the Rainbow. I would repurchase. It's mainly an orange fragrance. This is orange and vanilla from Tuscany. I get that from Kroger. Would, would repurchase that one. That one's a really nice, like, creamsicle type fragrance. He's going to go on my desk now. <laughs> like, hello, cat. This is vanilla and peach. I really didn't care for this one at all. It has the cat pee note to it. Yeah. You guys are gonna be watching the cat, right? Say hello. Hi, I'm trying to do a video. He's like, I don't care. I don't care what you're doing. So this vanilla and peach, wouldn't repurchase, didn't really care for it. We have this Oak and Rye, October Moon. This is kind of like an orangey fragrance almost. This is a Halloween release that they have. I would purchase this again. We have ice cream shop. He's going to go behind me. Maybe, maybe he'll settle down. See a giant massive cat there. This to me smells like strawberry and the fake chapsticky strawberry. I have a few of these, but I would not repurchase after those are gone. Uh, I do have a goose. I have a couple of goose creeks here. This is rainbow sugar. You know, it's kind of like a cotton candy fragrance. Probably wouldn't repurchase that one. Lemon Blueberry Donuts, my son really liked this one. I thought it was kind of light throw, so I wouldn't repurchase. He might like that one. Okay, so we have these little single melts from Yankee Candle. I have Bahama Breeze. I wasn't really impressed with this one. Hardly any throw. It's a tropical fragrance, but mm, I don't know. I, didn't, I would not repurchase. We have another Yankee. They're all falling, but hey. Honey Crisp Apple, 100% love this. This is one of the most authentic apple fragrances. It don't doesn't smell like cider to me. It smells like a fresh Honey Crisp Apple. It's oh, it's beautiful. And my store had them for clearance. Had them on clearance today, and I wiped the store out. I I mean I probably bought eight. This one is my son's favorite apple scent, and so yeah, 
I wiped it out. <laughs> I wiped the store out for $1.50 a piece. Yes, grabbed those. Okay, this is Dutch apple bread. I find this at Kroger. This is so good. This is a beautiful apple bread scent without a lot of cinnamon and spices in it. And it's a, got a really nice, great throw. I have purchased more of this and would keep, you know, several of these in stock to make sure I never run out of these. Absolutely fabulous. Another fabulous bready scent is the sweet banana bread. This is good from um, Goose Creek. This is a really nice banana bread scent. I really like this one. I would repurchase this. This, I mean this, yeah, I bought more of this today. This is very hard to find. This is my favorite lavender scent of any uh, that I have found. And, you know, there's some really good vendor wax lavender scents that I have found. But for this one, if it's just a plain lavender, like sugared lavender or sweetened lavender by itself, this is the perfect one. I love it. I will keep purchasing more and more and more of that as long as they have it. I will continue to purchase. This next one is Lavender Lemonade. Really didn't like this one. <laughs> I don't know. It was just a strange, I don't, it was a strange lavender. Would not repurchase that one. This is Pumpkin Marshmallow Cream. I wanted more of what that picture shows. It was very heavy on the spices, which I didn't expect it to be. So to my nose, it was like, no. So I kind of had to force myself to use this. I think I mixed it with some um, like shortbread cookie or vanilla cookie crunch, which I'll show you now just to get through it. But yeah, and I like this one. This is a great mixer. Good price for a mixer. Would repurchase that. Um, we have festival vibes. This is coming back out, I believe, for the summer. But when they were on clearance, I grabbed sleeves of them. This is so hard to describe, but it's fabulous. It's just a beautiful like berry type scent with a very light hint of floral feels like you're outside and you're smelling all of that beautiful fragrance. I don't know it's just so nice it's not overpowering really love this one and I don't need to repurchase I have tons of same thing with this one <laughs> happy home this is kind of like a lemon cookie type fragrance to me a little bit it's kind of lemony it's on the lighter side as well um, it's not overpowering is what I mean. I mean, you can smell it. It's not, it's definitely not hidden or anything, but it, it's nice. And I have tons of these. So, yes, I highly recommend that one. Next one is cinnamon buns. It's too, it's, it's too cinnamon, not enough bun, <laughs> I guess. I wanted more frosting, I guess, with a little hint of the cinnamon bun. So, I would not repurchase. I will look for vendor wax that is more of the fragrance that I'm looking for. This one I did buy more of, this banana pumpkin bread. This was fantastic as well. This was not pumpkin, it was banana bread and it was fantastic banana bread. Very, very nice, smooth. It's like a creamy, buttery almost, banana bread, fabulous. I would buy more of these. Thankfully, they haven't discontinued them. Oh, I had another sugared lavender, so yep, love that. This I've picked up more. They have it on clearance, hazelnut and cream. It's very light. So it's a nice blender scent. If you want something else, like a creamy, like a little hazelnut to it, this is a fabulous blender scent. Not super coffee-like. I mean, and I guess it doesn't say coffee, but it's really kind of a creamy scent. And I have purchased more and um, hope that they bring this back out. I don't know if everybody loved it, but to me, it's a good blender. Let's put it that way. This, they spelled this wrong. They said shot to bread cookies. It's shortbread. <laughs> this I absolutely really adore. Very good. Also nice blender scent or good on its own. I think I have three more clams of this that I picked up at the holidays. So yes, I would repurchase good cookie scent. Very, very nice. This one, everybody, you know, if you're in the retail wax world, you know this one, and I think you either probably love it or hate it. <laughs> we love it. It's super strong, lasts for days, fills my entire house, smells like the fruity pebbles, like an orangey kind of component, fruity pebbles. It's fantastic. My son, this is one of his favorites. This, my son melted. I ugh, cannot stand this one. Ugh. Coral Shores. It's a real beachy kind of floral scent. He loves it. Absolutely loves it. I have purchased a couple more for him, so he always has 
Some of those, loves them. We picked up this Valentine's, which wishes, witches, yes, Valentine witches. Um, it's the chocolate buttercream. This is okay. Um, I'll probably, I have, I think I have another one of these that I picked up at Kroger. Um, Meyer stores, Kroger stores. I don't know who else sells these melts, but I picked up a few of these for Valentine's. It's okay. I might mix it with coffee or something because it's kind of light on its own. Probably wouldn't repurchase that particular one. Yeah, one of my absolute favorites, cranberry chutney. I melted that. I can't believe there's not more. I probably didn't finish a clam because I know I melted some of those. And then the sugar and spice Yankee. I probably wouldn't repurchase, but it was nice. I think I used it as a blender scent. It was okay, but you know, don't have to go out of my way for that. I used a couple of these as um, melts instead of candles. I really wanted the melts and I ordered the wrong thing. I don't know what was wrong with me. This is from Kringle or Country Candle. I think they're together. This Blush Berry Frosé. I guess that's how you say it. This was fabulous. This was really kind of like a champagne toast. So bright and fresh, like grapefruit almost a little bit. Um, I would 100% repurchase this. I would get the melts because <laughs> that was fun trying to dig that out of there. But yeah, I would, would get this in melts. This was great. This is chocolate chip cookie, and this was mainly just ch chocolate. I was going to say chip. Yeah, I wasn't impressed with this one at all. I would not repurchase. It wasn't anything special. I, that's better. There's way better vendor wax for that. Same thing with this one. Blueberry muffin. I mean, there's way better muffin-y scents. Yeah, this one just smelled weird to me. It was just my nose probably because I know some people really love this. Was, I didn't like it. Okay, Yankee Candle. I used one of these as a melt. Um, actually used it to kind of blend a little bit with this Christmas cookie. So I would get that again. I would probably get it in melts, but it was not bad for, for that. And then I used this, I mean, the older tart that I had, Campfire Treat. Really enjoyed that. It was craving marshmallow -y type of treats, I guess. <laughs> and I really enjoyed melting that one. So I would repurchase. I don't know if that's still out you know, but I would repurchase that. Let's jump into the vendor wax here. I have Zape Rainbow Sherbet. I don't know if I would reorder this. It's not bad. It just didn't last for very long. It wasn't super strong. So I don't know. I mean, eh, I don't, I've heard that some of their other shapes are better than the clam. So maybe I would in a different shape. Then I have the um, Wolf Wicks, this Lenny's Apple Bread. This was fantastic. This is like an apple cornbread muffin zucchini bread type of thing. I would order this again. The problem is, is I can't get it to throw in my house. This smell is absolutely fantastic. I love it. I actually tried to make a custom blend through another vendor to try to see if I could recreate the smell of this in wax that I can get to throw in my house. I've used different warmers. I've done different things. And I've I've had some comments from other viewers that have said the same thing. So it's just a shame. I don't know why, but they have the most wonderful, unique fragrances and I can't get it to throw. So I would reorder it if it was changed in some way that I could smell it. This also came as a sample. It was Chewy's Blanket, which is flannel sheets and strawberry pound cake. This was really nice. I put this in my bathroom and it, you know, I, it got some throw out of it. It was really nice. It was a strawberry pound cake type of thing. So that was good. All right. So then we have lemon pound cake from Knowles Farm Scents. Absolutely fabulous. Would repurchase. Really enjoyed that one. This was from Birdie's Making Scents. <laughs> This is a banana nut bread and hazelnut coffee in an R-rated shape. <laughs> really enjoyed this. Although I think I like her coffee better by itself than combined with like um, bakery. So I would probably stick to those. This is blackberry sugared shortbread vanilla bean Noel whipped cream. You know, I don't know if I would purchase this particular, but I do like the you know, components in here. So I don't, you know, I don't know if I need that exact blend, but it wasn't bad. Then I have the Sugar Cookie Royale Sugared Shortbread Dose Cross Streams is really nice vanilla cookie fragrance. So yeah, I would purchase that one. Have same thing. There's two of those. I got two of those as samples. So that was good. 
pink sugar don't cross streams really enjoy pink sugar i'm figuring that out and the don't cross streams really enjoy that as well so yeah i would purchase that one so i'm like trying to keep these together but it's not working so <laughs> we'll keep going <laughs> I have Nose Farm Sense Unicorn Farts. Really enjoyed this one. Really good. I think he, the owner had said that he really enjoys that one as well. Lemon Pound Cake would repurchase that. Fantastic. I have Reindeer Crack. I don't know how I feel particularly about, um, I don't know, peppermint type scents right now. But this was really nice. Peppermint and... I was going to say mint, <laughs> peppermint and chocolate together. This was nice. I don't know. This, to me, I would have to see. I might order it again for the holidays, but yeah, not right now. Obviously, it's out of season for me. And then we have this uh, Fruity Loops. Really enjoyed this one as well. Threw really good. His stuff throws really good in my house. So yeah, I would repurchase all of those. Let's see. I have some for Birdies Making Sense. You have You Make Me Feel Alive, which is Grape and Fizzy Pop. Okay, this... <laughs> This little bugger here lasted three days in my house, and it was at probably a 15 out of 10 for throw. I did repurchase this. I grabbed the last two that she had on her website when she did a restock or on Etsy, and 100%, but I will probably put it in one warmer. It doesn't need, I had it in three warmers in my like kitchen, dining room, living room combo thing. It only needs one warmer. I'm telling you, this thing will last forever. I took it out before it had faded. I mean, after three days, I was like, okay, I need something different. This is strong. So if you like grape and fizzy pop, pick this up when she offers it again. I mean, 100%. I loved it. It was great. All right, then we have this chip, chip, hooray, strawberry, raspberry, and guava. These were her little potato chips from Birdie's. Really enjoyed these. She has a... Um, softer wax so you'll see it kind of makes a mess on the package but this was really really pleasant I really enjoyed this I would get this again so let's see oh I have one more from Nose Farms this spooktacular this one um it was okay I don't know how I feel I like some of his other ones better so I would have to think about this one and I like Birdie's um her grape fizzy I like the grape with a fizzy pop so I don't know and I'm not sure about this one but it wasn't bad and it threw well Okay, so let's talk about, we have the pharmacist's daughter. I have Sweet Lady here. This is just a beautiful fragrance. Really enjoyed this one. Would repurchase. We have this blueberry tea cakes and iced lemon cookies. I think it was a giant donut. Love this. I mean, it pained me to cut it up, but I wanted to use it. So yes, would repurchase that. I have this apple pie. I have repurchased several more. So, yes, I really enjoy her apple pie. Very, very good. Oh, I do have another Birdie's Making Sense here. Your steaming hot strong black coffee with spicy cinnamon. I wasn't a big fan of this one. I think cinnamon, I, I've said this, cinnamon in my nose ugh, right now. But her coffee is just fantastic. Love her coffee. Okay, and so then I had a couple of samples from um, Pharmacist Daughter. This was Celebrate and love this one. I actually purchased, I think, three of these based on this sample. So, yeah, love it. Fantastic, bright, beautiful citrus. And this was Scrumptious. This one I'm not real sure about. I had a hard time smelling it. I don't know. I threw it right in the warmer. Uh, right when I got it. So maybe it needed a little more cure time. So I'm not sure about this one. Dogs are barking. I have this watermelon snow fairy from Rose Girls. You know, I enjoyed this on cold sniff, but when it warmed up, the watermelon kind of bugged my nose. I'm not a huge fan of like melon scents, so probably wouldn't. I love snow fairy, so I'd order that. And actually, I think I ordered it from her. Then I have this Ultimate Lemon from that Smell Good Shop. That was fabulous. I had that in here and lasted a couple of days. It was a beautiful lemon. It wasn't like a pledge, and it wasn't a bakery lemon either. It smelled exactly like a juicy lemon that you cut into, and you smell the juice and the rind and the whole thing. I would absolutely purchase that again. And this, I think it's the last one. Wow. The last one is from the Scented Squirrel. It's Sugar High. And I think I bought three of these. 
Yeah, this is a beautiful sugary sweet scent. I mean, if you like really sugary sweet scents, this is a good one. Would repurchase. I think I got three of them when I bought them. So, woo. Okay, we got through the way. <laughs> now let's get on to Bath and Body Works here. So let's see what we've got. Okay, so I have some wallflowers. Wall oh my gosh, wallflowers. Okay, there we go. That we changed out. So I have this peach bellini. My son has that going in his bathroom. I have watermelon. That's by the cat box. This beautiful creature there. Orange sunrise, which is going in one of our bathrooms. And a pineapple mango. I think he just changed that. I had this winter going and it probably lasted a week. I was really bummed out. Love this fragrance. Don't love it in the wallflower. I couldn't smell it. I, I don't know what happened, but so I wouldn't get that one again. The other ones I probably would. I don't know about the watermelon lemonade because watermelon and me, I don't know, but it's in a play, you know, trying to combat kitty scent. So, um, and he's probably going to give me a, the eye. <laughs> I don't have a kitty scent, mommy. Um, and then Pink Fairy Gumdrop, which is in my room. Love that fragrance. One of my favorites. Okay, so we got through a few pocket bags here. Frosted Cranberry. Probably wouldn't repurchase that one. Orange Sunrise. Loved this one. Absolutely loved it. So I would get that again. And this is an older one. It's Berry Lemonade. I'm a unicorn. Love this as well. Would totally repurchase. Okay, so then we got through four hand soaps. This Winterberry Ice, eh, I mean, I feel like there's enough fragrances out there that I really enjoy, so it's probably a one and done for me. This one really surprised me, actually. I've had this for a little while. I think I bought it like last summer. This Beach Bliss, and I actually really enjoyed it. I took it to Florida with us thinking, you know, we'd just leave it there and actually loved it. I would get this again. Ocean Breezes, Water Flowers, and Creamy Musk. I don't know. There was just something so beachy about that that I really enjoyed. Blueberry Crumble. Yeah, I loved this. I mean, I just wanted to go in there and wash my hands just to smell this. <laughs> I have one more. I hope there's more that come out. Really enjoyed it. And then this Almond Blossom. Really liked this one as well. Would repurchase this as well. Okay, so I got through a couple of Bath & Body Works body care items. I used up this Sugared Cherry Crisp here. I have one more of these. Would totally repurchase. I don't know if they're going to bring it back because they were out for SAS. But really liked this one. Really nice fragrance. Winter Candy Apple. I got through the Confetti Moisturizing Body Wash. There's probably a tiny bit left, but I'm over it <laughs> at this point. You know, I'm the kind of person that in the past would have used, like, had, you know, I would have had eight different shower gels in my bathroom, and it would have taken me the year to get through, I don't know, it would have taken me forever to get through them all, because I, you know, changed my mind all the time and used different ones. I'm trying to <laughs> limit myself, and I have two in the shower, and yeah, I'm just over this one. I probably wouldn't repurchase this for a while. I don't know. There's so many other fragrances. I think I'm just over it. I I don't know. I'm done with the winter candy apple. And then the Mary Cookie. I loved this one. This was fabulous. I have, I think, at least one more large size, if not two. And yeah, I would definitely repurchase that. Okay, we're in the home stretch. <laughs> so I have, I don't have that many candles because as a reviewer, I kind of, you know, burn them for a while and then move on to the next thing. And, you know, I've been doing my vendor wax as well. So I don't have as many as I would like. I got through a cookies and cream milkshake. I mean, look at, I mean, it's really sooty at the bottom. It's yucky, but I did enjoy this one. I have several more, so I will enjoy them, but you know, maybe halfway through, I might turn them into melts. I don't know. Same thing this with this berry waffle cone. I got through one of these this month or in January. Really, really loved this one. Got murky towards the end, which is a bummer because I just love it. Oh, it's just fabulous. I used up one of this, one of these vanilla pumpkin marshmallows here, and it was a trial one that I got at SAS. Loved this. This was fabulous. I would buy this in a three-wick when they come out in the fall. Highly, highly suggest that one if you like a nice vanilla-y marshmallow type 
And I have Merry Cookie. I got through with this one. Really love this. I think I have one more, but really liked this. Really nice um, cookie scent. And yeah, the dog there goes again. And um, yeah, really like it and would highly suggest picking one of those up if you like a good vanilla cookie type scent. So thanks so much for joining me today on my January empties. I think I did pretty good. I don't know. <laughs> I like using things up. I feel accomplished and, you know, I don't want them to go to waste, obviously. So let me know in the comment section down below. What are you hoping to get used up in the month of February? You know, what are you hoping to go through? If you have a, you know, some kind of a amount that you try to go through each month, let me know. And, you know, I don't have a certain amount that I try to go through, but I just kind of, it makes me feel good when I go through some of the shower gel and, you know, the hand soaps, because I have quite a bit. Shh, shh, don't tell anybody. But I have several. <laughs> And I'm like, good, I used it up, I enjoyed it, and now I can move on to the next thing. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!